because without an understanding and the application of the Weider split system, you'll never be able to achieve a symmetrical and well-proportioned body. We, in fact, are living in a dark age. We really are. Most people know nothing about logic or how to use it, how to use their critical faculties to come to understand different theories, sort out truth from falsehood. Most people are intellectually dependent. They're brought up in a given household. They're born into a given family by chance, into a given region by chance, into a given nation by chance. Uncritically, unquestionably, blindly, they accept the religion their family brings them up in. They accept their parents or their locale's political beliefs, their intellectual dependence. They've never learned how to identify and evaluate the facts of reality. And this is seen in most bodybuilders. We are living in a militantly anti-rational culture where people are actively discouraged from thinking, passively accept, blindly, uncritically follow the group. Well, geez, if all those bodybuilders say it's true, how could they all be wrong? Let me remind you that for thousands of years, millions of people sincerely believed the Earth was flat. That didn't mean it was true. Just because the vast majority of bodybuilders still use the blind, non-theoretical volume approach doesn't mean it's true or it's the best way to go. Why are there examples of people who've succeeded using other approaches? It depends. I'm glad you brought that up. It depends upon how you define success. You're making the mistake there, Bill, of citing the final result as indubitable proof of the superiority of a certain training method. I get this all the time, of course, and I love this one because I can answer the skeptics' questions and I enjoy watching their faces when they finally come to accept the idea later on. Not because I want to be a big shot, because I like seeing people coming to recognize how great logic is in human life. The, the most typical example I get is with Arnold and Lee Haney. Mike Metzer, how can you be so damn certain? How can you say that there's only one right way to train and you know it? When we have Arnold and Lee Haney over here training two to four hours, six days a week, Again, the mistake there is inciting the final result as indubitable proof of the superiority of a training method. You would have to go back through Arnold's and Lee's training career and calculate the thousands of wasted hours, training hours, during which they made little or no progress. You would scratch your head and ask yourself the question, didn't they have anything better to do? You would seriously question whether or not their achievement could rightly be termed success at all. When in fact, it's true, most bodybuilders really don't have anything better to do. <laughs> a lot of them only feel comfortable in the gym. It's the one area in reality where very little is demanded intellectually. They feel at home. In other words, Bill, they've elevated a social need into a training method. <laughs> I ain't joking. That's, That's true. A little bit of reflection, and you know it's true. It's true. How many bodybuilders are given to sound, rigorous, logical thought, meticulous reasoning? Absolutely none that I've come across except Dorian Yates, and he could do a hell of a lot better than, he, than he's been doing with it. Hmm. Nobody wants to thank him. I ain't saying I'm the greatest at it, but I've been, I've been working at it a little bit at least, as you can hear. Right. Right. Huh. Well, so you're saying that the, they could have achieved the same end result uh, by the the other pathway, and 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 uh... they would have developed, they would have reached, achieved their ultimate development sooner. When I say ultimate, I mean the the level they did achieve. They would have developed it, reached it sooner, or they would have gone further had they used the proper methodology. It's not true that all training theories have some merit or are of equal validity. Hmm. You have to take this into account, too, and a little reflection, I think you'll see I'm right. They also used a lot of steroids. Right. Bodybuilders who don't use steroids and train two to four hours, six days a week, very quickly give up in frustration. Right. 
They're not given an alternative. They think this is the only way to do it, and erroneously conclude in many cases that they have terrible genetics or that they're hard gainers or no gainers. Make no mistake, Bill and listeners, more bodybuilders fail to achieve their goals than succeed. The people promulgating these ideas without realizing it are endangering the future of their own market. Without a doubt, more people give up than succeed. These people purveying nutritional supplements and muscle magazines are relying on the constant turnover, the new generation always coming in. Right. Right. Like a lot of the, uh, the nutritional companies depend on the, you know, they get a one-time purchase. And uh, people figure it out and they don't come back. Exactly. 